lot of new tools that made it easier in some regards. We had to figure out how to do water. You know, movies called The Way of Water, but we had to figure out the way of water for performance capture and for CG, make it absolutely seamless, which I think we, we accomplished, and that's part of the, the dreamlike wonder of the, of the movie, which is part of our stock in trade, you know, doing Avatar, if you will. Um, it was a joyful experience with the cast. They're just so damn good. That feeds me as a director creatively. You know, I could go on for hours about, about how great the actors are in this film. But you gotta kinda see it to see what I'm talking about. Look, 3D's great. It's the, it, the film was authored in 3D as opposed to it just being slapped on later. It sucks you in, it draws you into the movie. Some people don't like 3D. That's fine, go see it in 2D. We're very proud of our 2D presentation, CinemaScope compositions and so on. I mean, it's a gorgeous film regardless. But if you like 3D, you're gonna love this movie. What do I make of this London welcome? I mean, this was the first place. Uh, this was the first premiere 13 years ago, and we were welcomed in such a warm way. Even though it was freezing, I remember it was like I started to snow that night. Um, so it's, it's good. It's good to to come back to have the same reception. Um, my hope is that people like the first, uh, you know, like Avatar: Way of Water the same way they liked Avatar One. Stepping back into playing Neytiri, um is something really special to me. This this character is, is a character that I feel kindred with in so many ways. I learned so much about her. <laughs> I gave so much of myself to her, so getting to revisit her, to reincarnate her, it just feels like it's a gift that keeps on giving. I feel very proud to be here. You know, I love the movie that we've created, and now we get to share it. Jake's journey in this movie is he's still a warrior, but now he's a dad, so he's still reckless, but he's got a bigger responsibility now. Look, I love being with Jim in this type of movie because he's always a trailblazer. I like working with guys that try to change the game. I think what Jim has done with this movie, he's made this movie an experience that yeah, you're going to feel in the cinema, not just see. Um, and you know, to share that with your loved ones. The, the movie's about protecting your loved ones. Jim's still talking about you know the effects we have on our ecosystem. Still talking about how we can we're interconnected even from beyond in this movie from from before we're born to after we die it's it's and i think after covid you know we've we realized we're all in it together um we've only, and you know that these are the themes that jim's talked about for many years from all his movies about what humanity does to itself i think the movie's heart-wrenching and powerful we, you know they use a word in the movie to describe the, the awa the, the their deity and they use it as they call it mighty and i think uh, that describes this movie oh i mean London is always has amazing yeah, we premieres that people really come out for movies and uh, I always had a wonderful time here and to come here at Christmas is such a treat because London is just all you know lit up. The new character I play is Kiri who is 14. She has a connection with Grace Augustine, who I played in the first one. She feels more at home in the forest with creatures and plants than she does with people. And uh, she's a special girl. She's very lovable. I think Jim Cameron uh, writing such a wonderful part, but also we learned how to free dive, and there's a lot of amazing diving. And I got to hold my breath up to six and a half minutes. You know, it's about a family, uh, very much reflective of Jim's personal family. <clears throat> and family is such a universal theme, so relatable. And it just, you become part of this family. And you go with us through all these different challenges and different high points. And it's an incredibly immersive experience. I would say don't even buy popcorn. Well, uh, my husband saw it last week. He's coming again tonight. Because uh, you have to see it more than once. I mean, there's just so much to take in. And our daughter is going to see it in LA. Yeah, so, what I can tell you about this film and about the character that I play so, I play the character of Bernal, and she is the female warrior leader of the Metkayina tribe. And the Metkayina are people who live on and in the water, their life is with the water and the animals that are there as well. And their community is vast. My character is fiercely protective of her community. But the Sully family run to us for sanctuary. And my character isn't so sure whether she really wants them to move in. So there's some sparks that fly. 
If you ask me how I feel, I'd say I feel really exhilarated. The weather is gorgeous, beautiful night for a, for a premiere, and uh, it's so great to be in London and so great to be opening this film. Years ago, we opened Avatar in London uh, on a night like this, and uh, the results were pretty good, so hope for the same. Well, the first one was a pretty immense experience. This one, I had a certain familiarity. Uh, we, uh, I felt very comfortable with the cast. I felt uh, we knew each other well. I felt comfortable with the director. We know each other well. And, um, but it was a deeper experience for me because uh, the Colonel Quartz, uh, Colonel Quartz, my role, he's, uh, he's gone deeper. You know, he's, uh, it's a pretty deep dive in every sense of the word. My, some of my, my wife is with me tonight and when we get to Los Angeles, uh, I'll have my, all of my, my children and their children. Uh, so yeah, I'll have a, they'll all see it. Just the, the joy of, of bringing this story to life, to be able to be part of this vision that this master filmmaker has, to be part of that team, you know, just to count yourselves as, as somebody who's, who's, who's thoroughly integrated into the team and actually really important to the team, that to me, it makes me very proud. I think they can expect to be awed, they can expect some tears, because there's some, some sadness in the film as well, but there's so much beauty that I think, uh, I think it's just, it's an experience that, that every filmmaker, every uh, film goer should have. It, this film is designed to bring people back into the movie theaters. What went through my mind when I stepped onto the carpet tonight? I think it wasn't something going through my mind, but almost blank, like just, whoa, what is happening right now? And uh, this pure amazement that the day has come and that I get to be part of this amazing Avatar family. And I feel so fortunate and so happy and so excited right now. I play Tuk Dide, everyone calls her Tuk. She's Jake and Atiri's youngest. And she has this big heart, she's super curious and also very daring and mischievous. When it comes to her family in Pandora, it's not like she has no fear, but she can be very brave and courageous because she'll do anything to protect them. Of course, as a young actor, my favorite part of working on this movie was just filming and being on that set with this incredible casting crew and Avatar family, and um, just getting to bring to light this amazing character to today, who I can't wait for everyone to meet. My mom and dad are here tonight with me, and that's so exciting. My granny is also here, and she grew up in London and Chelsea, so that's exciting. Exciting. and um, my music team is here tonight so that's really cool and uh, yeah it's crazy to be here and to be here with my loved ones is really great a uh, dream come true uh, he's the first director I ever worked with and the best director I've ever worked with so uh, I feel very very fortunate and I think more than anything Jim's always inspired me to just uh, never stop asking questions and always be curious and also as a film director um, he knows everything about every department and he brings his, the science into his filmmaking and look what wonders he creates and he's always there for us and supporting us and it's he's amazing it feels thrilling to be here at the premiere of Avatar The Way of Water. Saraya is strong, she has a big heart, and she's a phenomenal free diver. I think it's very hard to say one thing that I'll take away from this experience, but I know that I'll leave it with so much love in my heart and appreciation for what I've accomplished in this film. Oh, they're here! I brought them! <laughs> I brought my mama and my two younger brothers, and I can't wait for them to see it today. I think Fans are in store for some epic action, continuing the love story, and interesting, exciting characters. I don't know if words can describe, uh, it's really cool. Like, I spent four and a half years making this, so to be here today, um, I don't know, I'm just so happy. Like, yeah. I play Spider, he's a human. Um, he was born and raised on Pandora after the humans, you know, got their butts kicked. And he kind of grew up around the Na'vi and considers himself one of the Na'vi people. Um, even though he is a human, so he has like a lot of inner turmoil with being a human, but still, you know, considers himself one of like the people. It was, I mean, like, it's just like, cause you know, you get lucky just to work with like one incredible actor in a project, but we have so many here, Joel included right next to me. And, um, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just so cool. It was such an honor to watch them work every day, have scenes with them. As soon as I get home, I'm dragging all my friends and family. We're gonna rent out an entire theater. We're gonna watch it for sure. I remember slang, you know, because, you know, he's like kind of got this southern charm, even though he's from New York. And he walked up to me and he was like, son, just don't overthink it. And I was like, all right. So ever since then, that's actually, it's simple, but it served me well.